Hey everybody, it's Niall. Welcome back to Niall's Mom. Hey everyone. Okay, so today I'm going to be doing Oh, my much anticipated book unhaul. Last night I went through all of my books. I took about I think like two hours just going through every single shelf and pulling off the books that I know that I just probably am not going to read within the next like year or even two years. These books here are books that I have either started and didn't finish, so books that I DNF that I know I won't get back to reading, books that have just been on my shelf forever that just don't really seem very interesting to me. Also, if you guys can tell, my poor bookshelves are getting so stuffed and I just really, really needed to get rid of some books that I just know I won't be reading anytime soon. Yes, without further ado, let's get into this. Oh, also, um, I'm going to be holding on to these books for about a week so if there's any of these books in here that you think I should just absolutely keep and hold on to um, that's worth just giving a second chance to or just uh, reading let me know leave a comment down below if a lot of you guys ask me to hold on to a book or two then I'll take them out of the box and keep them everything else will be going to the goodwill down the street from my house they're gonna hopefully find a better home um, where they can be loved the first book I have here I got this book so long ago and it's a YA book but I think it reads like a middle grade book I tried starting this book several times and I was just never able to get past the first 50 pages in it. Geek Girl by Holly Smale. This book was really popular a few years back. As you can see from the cover here, it's about a girl who is, I guess, a geek kind of in her school. She's very nerdy um, and she ends up going to some sort of convention or something and getting discovered by a modeling agency and becoming an international supermodel. The premise sounded really interesting, but every time I tried to start it, I was just never able to get past like the first 30 pages. Yeah, so I will be... Getting rid of it, my bed's right there by the way, so I'm tossing it onto the bed, not onto the ground. I don't, well, I do abuse my books a little bit. But anyways, the next book I have here is another book that sounded really interesting, um, and I tried to start a few times, Zodiac by Romina Russell. Now this book, as you can kind of tell from the cover, is about different planets within a galaxy, um, and each planet represents a different zodiac sign, which is actually how zodiac signs work. Each zodiac sign is ruled by a different planet, but this one's very literal in the sense that people live on the planet that is their zodiac sign. And yeah, it sounded really cool when I picked it up, but I was just never able to get into it, so it's going in the pile. Oh. Okay, this next book here, you guys know, all of my OG subscribers know, I tried so hard to get into this book but it was just so cheesy i couldn't do it fallen by lauren kate um oh, you know it yeah do i really have to explain why i'm dnfing this book oh it was not good it was like every possible trope every possible cheesy line was just stuffed into this book and i couldn't get more than like 50 pages into it so it is hopefully going to someone who can appreciate it more than i could next I have here is The Brilliant Light of Amber Sunrise by Matthew Crow. Now this book, I think this is probably one of the oldest books that I have. I remember getting this book, I think back in like 2015. It's a contemporary book. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't do contemporary books. No, I do read contemporary books, but I just, I've just had this book forever and I don't think I'll be getting to it anytime soon. So I'm going to donate it to Goodwill. The next two books are books that I once again DNF'd. Um, I DNF'd the first book and then I have the second book in the series, which obviously I will not get to if I did not finish the first one. Ugh. Exquisite Captive by Heather Dimitrios. This, this book right here, I just... Mm, it was not for me. It was not for me. I think I got halfway through the book. I think I stopped at like page 200 something. But this book followed our main character who is a genie and she is sort of trapped by this guy named Malik um, who basically controls her. The premise of the book was really cool, but it was mainly the relationship between the main characters that just sort of rubbed me the wrong way and I was never able to fully... Um, I don't know, accept it. <laughs> the further I got into the book, the, the harder it was for me to read. Um, so yeah, I just, I DNF'd it and I have the second book, Blood Passage. Is this the second book or the third book? I don't remember. The next two books I have here were books that I was sent and they seem really interesting, but I don't know. I just don't think I'll ever get to them. I feel like that's my excuse for every single one of these books in this, in this unhaul. The first and the second book in the Progeny series. These books follow someone who is the descendant of a serial killer. Um, or something like that. I don't know. I read the first two chapters and 
I don't know. I, I, I just don't think I'll ever really pick them up. <laughs> so the next two books I have here is the Avalon series or the Polaris series. I'm not sure which one is first. Okay, I think Avalon is the first book and Polaris is the second book. Now these books take place in space. Um, this is another series I read, I think, 50 pages of the first book and kind of just not intended to DNF it, but it didn't hold my interest enough for me to continue reading them. Um, and I always told myself I was going to get back to reading them, but I just never really did. And I'm just, I'm going to let them go. This actually, I think has to be the oldest book on my shelf. And I always like see it, but I just never feel gravitated to read it. Um, and I was like, you know what? It's kind of just taking up space at this point. Tempest by Julie Cross. Now this book was pretty popular, I think back in like 2010 or something, I don't know. The cover is so cool, but uh, sadly, even that is not enough to get me to read this book. <laughs> okay, the next book is another book that I think I bought this one the same time I picked up Tempest. Um, I'm not sure, but I've had this for at least four years on my shelf. Um, another book that seems really cool, but honestly, I don't think I'll ever get to it. The Mila 2.0 by Deborah Drizza. Now, when I first got this book, I was so excited to read it, um, but I just kept putting it off, putting it off, and four years later, <laughs> the plot seems interesting, but again, I just, it's, I have other books I would rather read first. <laughs> Goodbye, Mila. Next two books I have here are Trial by Fire by Josephine Angelini and Mortal Danger by Anne Aguirre. Now, I picked up both these books around the same time. This book follows our main character who she gets transported back in time. I think, or something like that, basically to the time period in which the Salem Witch Trials were going on, um, but there's also magic in this book. Right now, I just don't see myself picking up this book anytime soon. <laughs> this book does not have a synopsis, but it is like a murder mystery sort of book. It's going to goodwill now. <laughs> the next book I have here is Asleep by Crystal Wade, and I believe I got this in a book box. I believe this book is about a girl who gets imprisoned in an asylum or something like that. This next book I have here is The Ward, and it kind of reminds me of a movie. I'm not sure which one, but basically it takes place in a futuristic New York where basically this giant flood happens. As you can see from the cover, um, everything is underwater now and it seems pretty cool, but I, I don't know. I feel like I've watched this movie before, you know what I mean? The next book I am donating is actually my extra copy of A Map of Days. I have two copies of this book and I'm trying to do this thing where I don't hold on to multiple copies of books unless I really love the book and I wanna like give them to friends or something. Hopefully this will be a lucky find for anyone who goes to Goodwill because I know it's like $20, I think, $22, oh my God. I know the Goodwill by my house prices their books pretty low, so hopefully someone will find this and and it'll be a lucky find for them. Next series I have here, I have two copies of both the first and the second book. I don't know why. I think I was just accidentally sent two copies. I don't need two copies of both books, so I will be giving um, two of them away. The Amateur series, I think the Amateurs is the first book, um, but it says Case Not Closed. So these are mystery thriller books um, by Sarah Shepard, and yeah. Oh, my feet are going numb. I'm like squatting on the ground right now. <laughs> okay, the next book I have here, again, another double copy. I have Flashfall by Jenny Moyer. This is sort of a post-apocalypse novel. Radioactive particles are all over Earth or whatever planet these people are on, and people have to now mine this other element in order to protect them from the radioactive particles in the air. It seems like a really interesting book, but I have two copies of it, so I will be giving one away. This next book I'm getting rid of, I have had forever and ever, and I just don't think I will ever read it. Shadows Cast by Stars by Katherine Knutson. Now this book I've had, oh my God, I think it's been like four years, two, or three years actually. Four is kind of an exaggeration. And this book is another futuristic book, um, even though the cover kind of makes it seem like a contemporary book. Plague or something going on, and blood is a really valuable commodity. Basically the people who are immune to it, um, their blood is really valuable because if you do some sort of blood transfusion or something, it could save you. It sounds really interesting, so hopefully whoever picks it up next will enjoy it. The next book I have is Breathe by Sarah Crossman, and I've had, again, this book forever. It takes place in a future where oxygen is no longer a thing on Earth, and so everyone kind of lives in this glass bubble. Um, and yeah, it seemed really interesting. Um, I just never read it, <laughs> and I don't think I ever will. Yes, I will be giving this one the last book to Goodwill. Um, 
hopefully someone will find it. This book came out a while ago, actually. I think back in like 2010 or 2012. All right, guys, those are all the books I am unhauling. I'm a bit sad um, to see them go because I, I don't know. I'm like low key a hoarder, so <laughs> I kind of want to like hold on to everything, even if I know I probably won't get to the book in a while or if I've DNF the book, I still feel this need to hold on to them. But 2019 is a year of letting go. Until next time, keep reading, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!